Bundy's garage, Bundy here. Hey, today I just want to share with you guys while I'm taking this drive up in the mountains. I know I posted a video about UTI and I'll put a link in the description below about, about uh, U- UTI. I did an uh, interview with, with an uh, individual who actually graduated from UTI and his experience there. And I, I didn't do that to bash UTI, I really didn't. Um, I just uh, I just wanted to get it out there. And after I posted that video, I don't know if a lot of you guys know this or not, but after I posted that video, uh, UTI, uh, I don't remember if it was their social media director or a president or somebody in the company actually contacted me and asked me, um, you know, why did I do that bashing UTI? And I, I, I wasn't, I really wasn't. I. I I had uh, suggested to them that they allow me to um, come into their uh, Rancho Cucamonga location in California. I'm actually not too far from that location, probably about 20 minutes away. Uh, Film a recruiter, film some of the the students, but uh, they did not want me to do that. I bring this up because there, there, there are many options. Just a drawback to UTI, I'm not saying anything bad about the education. I'm really not, but I've talked to quite a few garage owners that have uh, hired graduates from UTI, and I'm not saying this about everyone, so if you please, if you graduated from UTI and you're working at a dealership or independent garage, I'm not saying this about everyone. You know, some, some of the guys that graduated from there are doing well. Some of them are not. What I've seen out in the real world is most guys that graduate from UTI uh, don't have really any idea what they're doing when they get out into the real world. Uh, I talked to one owner of a garage, um, service station, and he said he hired a guy from UTI. And come to find out, he the the individual he hired didn't even uh, know how to uh, change out a battery in a car. Basic, basic stuff. I've also talked to guys who go there and 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 the first few months is just talking about. Um, Righty tighty lefty loosey. This is a bolt. This is a metric thread. This is a standard thread. This is a grade A bolt. This is a grade A six. This is four. Um, this is a titanium bolt. It's it's going to the basics, the basic raw of of auto mechanics. And some people need that, and some people don't. And some people are mechanically inclined, and some people are not. It's just your skill set, where you are. Um, Talent-wise and where you are education-wise. Not everyone should be a mechanic. Just like not everyone should be a cook. Not everyone should be a doctor. Um, you just need to know where your skill set is. So if you are mechanically inclined, if you know how to do basic basic stuff, if you can change your own oil, change your own brakes, if you're not going into there completely 100% relying on UTI to teach you everything, then I think you should be okay. There are other options though when it comes to schooling for automotive repair. Um, I know UTI offers marine, they also offer a diesel program, but uh, a lot of community colleges offer an automotive training program. Uh, There's GM's ASEP program, A-S-E-P I believe. There's also a Ford program out there as well. And if you do some research, call some of the local community colleges, they can let you know if, if they do or do not offer those kind of classes. Talking to, um, oh, I can't remember his name off the top of my head right now. Talking to the guy on the, on the video about UTI and his, and his experience there, he said the, cl- the whole school was somewhere between thirty and $35,000. That is a lot of money. That is a down payment on a house. Um, I know community colleges are not that expensive. So, uh, an alternative to UTI as a program, as a school, would be a community college. Or if you have um, a basic understanding of auto repair, I was fortunate enough, Bundy as a young age, my dad, Dr. Stuart Bundy, he taught me the basics of auto repair. Like I say in my intro video, he threw me under his 1972 Mercury station wagon and he had me start changing oil on that thing. I did the oil on that, I started changing brakes, I did drum brakes when I was 10. Um, I uh, had a 66 Mustang in high school, I threw a rod on that thing um, with the help of a neighbor and my dad. 
we were able to uh, fix that engine problem. So I saw, I saw, I saw stuff, you know, at a young age and working on cars and not being afraid to jump in there and try it myself. So if you're not one that's afraid to try something new or, you know, ask people for help, if you were fortunate enough to have a dad like mine who was mechanically inclined and, and showed his son how to do this stuff. And from there, I just learned from wherever I could books, other mechanics, um, one of my best friends in high school, his dad was a mechanic. I learned all that I could from him and went from there. So, like I said, I'm not bashing on UTI. There's other alternatives to UTI. If you don't want to spend the money, then look at the community colleges. They're out there. And um, if you are, like I said, if you are mechanically inclined, if you have a, a decent background, if you have a, a handling on on screws and how stuff works, then look at just going and, and applying to a, a you know a, a quick lube place, a Jiffy Lube, changing oil there. You might be able to get a job, and then as you gain experience and knowledge, you will be able to move up and get a better job. And uh, if I was going to recommend to anybody right now in 2016, if you're going to go into the automotive industry, I would go into diesel or go heavy into diagnostic. Diagnostic being for the electric motors, for the Teslas that are coming out. Because by 2050, I believe, 2050, 2040, um, the federal government is requiring that all cars get an average mile per gallon of 50 miles per gallon, if I remember that correctly. So there's going to be a demand for or for guys that are very knowledgeable and diagnostic and working with computers as well as diesel engines because engines are going to get smaller. You're going to see four-cylinder gas engines with turbos. You're going to see smaller diesel engines with turbos. So like I said, if I was going to recommend anybody going into the automotive field right now, I would choose uh, heavy diagnostic, drivability, or diesel. So I think that's where the future of, of automotive repair is going to go. And especially with the electric vehicles, the Teslas of the world, and uh, in situations like that. So hope this helped you out. You guys can follow me on Twitter at Bundy's Garage. Questions, comments, concerns, you can always email me at Bundy's Garage at gmail.com. I try to answer back all comments left on my YouTube channel, on my videos on my YouTube channel. And like always, if um, if you want more information, please always look in the descriptions of my vehicles. I try to put more information down there. And um, like always, I'll keep them rolling for you.